Bishop Benjamin Bosley. God bless you. God bless you, it's man. Good to, good to see you. Good to see you, too. It's been a while. It's been too long. Where you been? I've been saved. What you mean? I mean, where you been on social media? We haven't seen you in a very long oh, time. Oh, I yes. Um, I've been I've been relaxing. You know, I've been I've been preaching for about fifty years, and uh, God has truly been good to my congregation. But He wore me out with them. It's hard to pass to people who who claim they on their way to heaven, but really got a a one way ticket to hell. It's it's really hard to save folk who think they save. You understand what I'm saying? I, I believe I, I believe so. Yeah. So but, I, I've but, been resting. Been resting. I'm resting. Yeah. I think the last time we saw you on social media was I believe your grandson was recording you order uh, chicken from. Uh, yes. From, yes. From yes. 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 The church's chicken was not available uh, for the revival I was running, and uh, I had to order from the Hooters. Which is now no longer in business. Uh, well, really, over in my in my area, they're, they're not there. Really, they're well, not there. Do you still keep in touch with the young lady? No, I don't believe that, in that. Uh, that the mothers go out to get the women. I don't do that. That's not what I'm. I'm not called to the to the women of the church. I'm called to to the body of Christ. So, Bishop Bosley, we have not seen you for a while. How has it been pastoring in a pandemic? Um, it's about the same as uh, Moses was in the wilderness, pastoring all them heathens that I forgot that God had delivered them. That's my problem with my congregation, and not any real preacher is going through the same thing. We're dealing with a group of folk who forgot that God was good in the first place. So um, a lot of them don't come to church. Um, you have know, you been doing pastoring uh, virtually? I have. Yeah, I did that for a little bit, a little bit, but uh, uh, it messed with my spirit. I wasn't able to really keep my eye on the folk. I had to really trust in prayer and intercessory. But um, I it, needed... He didn't I'm call sorry. me to... <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Nor it's all I... right. Most people don't when they do. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not trying to laugh. But... It's all right, sir. I know I'm raw. I'm real. I'm real. You probably used to Joel Osteen and all them nice ones. Well, let's not name drop. I'm cutting that out. By the way, it's um, okay. Most people cut out what I say. So you said Instagram is the love of your life. What happened to you? I took a sabbatical. It was uh, it was a lot of work, and um, one thing I started I started to cater to the audience more than my call with God. Um, you know, I had to push out videos every week, and it was a lot. Which you know, it's not can be it's hard. not that much. I don't need that many videos to tell you not to go to hell. Just one good one. But people wanted more. But, you know, they, they wanted more after the five fish and two loaves. Well, okay. Two loaves and five fish. After the miracle God had gave them something to eat, they wanted more. The Bible talked about how Jesus said, you, you following me because I fed you. Don't follow for the works only, but because you, you, you don't want to go to hell. Nice. Well, I have to ask you, since churches are opening up, Yes, sir. And you said that a lot of people have left your church. Yeah, they did. How, um, how's your music department? Actually, yeah, how's your music oh, department? Lord Jesus, I done got rid of all my musicians. They not saved. See, the problem with musicians, it's like Lucifer. They got a gift, right? And especially them drummers, they think just because they could beat bop it up on the drums. And they one pop send the mother down the aisle. Mm-hmm. They, that they done done something. They moved me. They moved them that believe in them. See, I'm not with all that. You got to be saved to move my spirit. I don't care nothing about bop ba dop in the organ. You play. Listen, it, it, what's good at playing the drum? Most of them drums got four, five women. The drummers. Most of them drummers got four, five women. You hear me what I tell you? They got four, five women waiting for them after church at our. I'm telling you what I know. Ask your drum at your church. Ask them how many kids they got. And then ask them how many wives they got. Watch. Well, so so you're gonna open up church and sing like a cappella, no music, hand clapping, foot stomping church, maybe. Wood praise is common among the upright. If they ain't saved, ain't no praise going on in my church. I don't want you to clap your way to hell. That's easy to do. You can shout an iniquity very easy. Very easy. You know, what the Bible said, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty, freedom. 
Just because the spirit is there, you even a drunken liable to get up and try to shout. But after church, you're going back to the wine bottle. The problem is you ain't you ain't you ain't delivered. You ain't saved. You ain't set apart. Praise is supposed to be for the upright, not y'all that can't even get up right. Who? You all right? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> what do you have to say about the most recent president election? Who won? Was it Joe Biden? Joe Biden won, and uh, uh, we have a first... Uh, Sister Camila, right? Kamala? Kamala Harris. Sister won. Kamala. Um, I don't care nothing too much about politics. The God ain't called me to vote. He called me to preach. Listen, uh, first of all, don't nothing happen without God say so. And uh, whoever the Lord would will to be in office, that's who's there. Whether you vote or not, it's whoever the Lord will. I'm not against voting. If you're, if you're a lay member, that's fine. But God don't call his preachers to politics. Are you Democrat, Republican? I'm, I'm sanctified. They don't, they don't remember that party, but the inheritance among the sanctified, not the Democrat, Republican, none of them. I, I don't mind anything that's truth. You understand what I'm saying? I don't mind truth, but I'm sanctified. I'm called apart to a different world. Though I am in this world, I will follow the law of the land. That's what the word told me to do. I'm not going to be no riot to society. You understand? I'm not going to be no burden to the president. Amen. I don't believe well, in him, though. I will pray that God have his way with him. But my hope ain't in him. My hope is not in the White House, but it's in the house of the Lord. Let's let's shift gears. Okay. Let's shift gears. Uh, I'm going to give you a word. Yes, sir. And uh, I want you to tell me the first thing you uh, think about the word. What, what comes to your mind after I give you a word? Okay. Um, African American. Blessed. Um, Though stubborn, yet blessed. Ghetto. Beginning place. <clears throat> Education. Not for everybody. Fornication. What you say? Fornication. To be avoided. Why? It's damnable. Um, it's the only sin that affects your body. Uh, the Bible talks about it's against yourself. See, when you fornicate, you're giving yourself mind, body, and spirit. I don't care what nobody <laughs> say. Ain't no such thing as no one-night stand. It's really a one-night fall, and it take years to get back up. Racism. That's a good one. Um, it's really... Uh, it, it's uh, racism ain't nothing but hell. Um, you got people that hate each other based upon how they look. That's interesting because you really can't change that. That's hellish. You hate me because I look this way. Well, what what can I do, sir, to not look this way? You understand what I'm saying? Mm. What can I do to not be black? You ain't got no answer to that. So that you hate me for something I can't change. You ought to hate me for breathing oxygen. Can't change that. You see how stupid that is? Straight out of hell. Well, okay, let's uh, let's 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 get from the deepness and let's go into. Uh, well, don't might... bring me to carnality, son. That's death. No, okay. I, um, but how... I know what you mean. We 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 didn't stray away. Go ahead, interview. Do what you do. How do you feel uh -huh. about the prophetic? In today's time. Uh, validate that question. What do you mean? How do you feel mm -hmm. about how the prophetic is seen in 2021? I'm very disturbed. Um, you know, they used to call the prophets in the Old Testament, they used to call them seers. And the issue with that is the prophets of today can't see nothing. They can't see back. Not one of them knew Corona was coming. Not one. I don't care what they saw. The only Corona they saw was a beer bottle being thrown outside of a cookout. That was the Corona they saw coming 
hard and fast. They didn't know nothing about this death coming to the nation. And that's a problem because the Bible says, surely the Lord will do nothing except he will reveal his secrets to his servant, the prophet. Let's me know to everybody that's been prophesying the house, car, and all this money stuff, they full of hell. Don't tell me I'm going to be rich and then die from corona two weeks ago. See, I didn't need the money. I needed healing. What happened to Bishop Reacts when people send you videos of certain things that go on in the church um, and you would give your, you know, your, um, you would analyze the video? Um, but uh, I got tired of it. To be honest, I'm not going to lie to nobody. Um, you know, it vexes my soul to keep seeing the church in an uproar like this. It's, it's ridiculous. I want to see miracles. I want to see signs and wonders. I don't want to see a bishop up preaching and cussing again. I don't want to see, because that ain't nothing but what's in them. You know, I'm sick of this. Somebody, I, I'm not going to say that. No, well, I'm not going to say that. Uh, I want to go back to your musicians. Uh, when you had your musicians, did you pay them? Um, yes. You think I'm a fool? I got to pay people that work. And I'm a sanctified church. Then people shouted all day long, the ones that were saved. So, yeah, I paid them. Are you leading to asking me what I paid? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I, I'm be honest with you, Bishop. I'm shocked to hear that you uh, you paid them. Most, most holiness churches uh, don't believe in that, don't believe in uh, paying musicians. Teachers on. If I'm wrong. Teachers on. I mean, I, 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 I believe. Now, that. if I'm wrong, you tell me. Now, if I'm wrong, let it's me up know. To, it's up to them. You ain't going to go to hell for paying them or not paying them. It ain't about salvation, so I don't care nothing about that. I paid my musicians because I worked the daylights out of them, and I expect them to live the law of the Lord. Um, and I check up on them because the music can influence. See, music speaks to everybody, and if the music is not sanctified, it's it's a, it's a lot of issues that come across the pulpit with that music. Uh, so 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 yeah, it's very important. It's very important. I would rather have no music than to have a a band full of fornicating, hypocritical people on their way to hell. <laughs> that's just the truth. That's just that's just what I have to say about that. Well, I don't, you know, this ain't no club. Okay, all right. Well, let me uh, ask you a couple more questions. I, um, I'm, here, I'm here to answer. Do you do a lot of counseling? No, not too much. Can I ask why? They don't want to hear the truth. See, if you at the point where you're coming to seek counsel, you're just looking for another person to argue with. You understand what I'm saying? See, uh, I don't, I don't play with arguing. It's the truth, or nothing. Okay? You sit there and try to come to my office and tell me why you don't want to give up the man that's breaking your knuckles every night. I done told you, lead this man. He breaking your jaw every month. I love him. Hit the dough. I didn't, you came to argue, so to convince me that you don't want to leave. That's not counsel, so get up out of here. I don't have time for that. I'm not another person you're going to argue with. You understand what I'm saying? I'm, I, you know, if they came to actually take wise counsel, counsel then, then, then I would be more liber, liberally, liberal to give it. But these people don't want counsel. They want conviction. They want confrontation. It's not counsel. They don't want counsel. They want they want debate. <laughs> I'm too old for debate. I, you, when you caught me as a young preacher back when I was twenty, I could I could go with the debate. Not no more. It's holding this hell. Well, let me ask you this. Yes, son. What's your favorite food? A soul food. Um, any type of soul food? All of seasoned. It? Elaborate. It, just cook it right, season it. Uh, I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of people who don't use salt and pepper. I think that's a travesty. Um, food, the Bible even say, if the earth shall lose its savor, I mean the salt shall lose its savor, wherein shall it be salted? It is henceforth therefore good for nothing, to, but to be trotted upon the foot of men. The devil didn't want that scripture to come out, but I, by God's glory and His grace, it came. <laughs> <laughs> Can you check to see if it's still recording? Well, it is. So, Bishop Bosley. Yes, sir. This is 
a persona, a character you play, right? You you asking Bishop Bosley if this is a character he plays? Yes. No, that's not out of question, though. You ask Justin Crawford if he plays a character named Bishop Bosley. You expecting me to break character on camera? Right now? <laughs> it's not going to happen, sir. <laughs> I won't allow it. <laughs> it kind of looks demonic if I ask to speak to Justin. That's not what I told you to do. <laughs> you cut it or something. And then Justin, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, okay. At, what is, uh, yes. We'll leave that. Yes. Bishop Bosley. Yes, sir. Is it always church? Or, or do you find some time, free time to, you know, relax, chill, have fun? Like, what do you do when it's not ministry? See, that, that question is so dipped in ignorance. Um, because the, I am the church. So what I do in the building ain't church. What I do every day of my life is church. So when I go to the beach and dip my feet in the water that God made, it's church. When I go relax and get my uh, 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 me time or go to the movies, I'm not against movies. A lot of saints think got deep. I'm not against movies. Um, when I go sit and eat popcorn, I think of the goodness of God from where the colonel came from. And I know that that's church. I am the church wherever I go because he sanctified me. Now, you don't see me in the club trying to make that church because that's, 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 that, that's, that's, um, you don't put fire in the bosom and expect not to be burned. Especially if he brought you out the club, don't go back in it. But, so, not a but, but. Not a but, but. Okay, son, I hear you very clearly. Do you like, what forms of entertainment do you like? I'm entertained by casting out devils and seeing the blind recover sight. Wouldn't that entertain you? Yeah, but, I mean, so, do you, do you like sports? Running for the victory. I'm running for my life. I'm on the track race now. I understand the metaphors, but I don't have time to be running the track. You understand? There's too many souls on their way to hell. Now, I'm serious about that. Um, if you're going to do it for exercise, hold on, son. If you're going to do it for exercise, that's fine. If you want your children to grow up in it, that's fine. I understand, but let them get their joy from the Lord because that joy never go away. Can't nobody take it from them. I could take a ball from your hand in a minute. You break your legs and you won't be able to shoot another basketball. But how many know the prayers of the righteous that give you joy all the rest of your life? Nubs and all. You'll still say hallelujah. You get what I'm saying, sir? I, I do. But, yes. But, but just to press you on this a little bit. Okay. Steph Curry has been breaking. Who? Steph Curry. Okay. Who, who is that, son? It's a very talented NBA player has just broken. Son, you sound angry that I don't know. I'm a bishop, son. I don't. I'm not. I don't work for ESPN but Cinema. Steph Curry actually is a Christian. That don't mean nothing to me, sir. Uh, 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 if Christian mean follower of Christ, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Then so was Judas. He followed <laughs> Christ to the day he died. Ooh, <laughs> thank you, Lord, for that revelation. I need people to be disciples. <laughs> But, well, well, I mean, to, 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 just to press you on a little bit. But I know what you're trying to say, so go ahead. Actually, well, Steph Curry? Steph Curry. Uh -huh. has, he has uh, been shooting lights out. I mean, just just knocking down three-pointers. He's yes, broken sir. records for most three-pointers in a game. He has uh, had several 30-plus point games. He, okay. is, he is having one heck of a season. All right. Um, hey, what's your question, son? Do you, is that not entertaining to you? Do you not find joy into seeing this uh, talented brother break all these records and, and, and do what he does? He's walking in his purpose, right? No, son, uh, there's no basketball in heaven. I haven't read that in the scriptures. Um, uh, I understand, I mean, it's, it's what he does. That's understandable. But, you know, a lot of y'all are entertained, but if I'm not mistaken, you get paid to do that. So this is this young man's job. So if you're telling me that his job is entertaining to y'all, 
Well, why don't y'all do it everywhere? Are you entertained when the waitress bring you your food? Are you entertained when the barber cut your hair? Are you entertained when the garbage man get your garbage? See, this, this stuff is foolishness. It's just because you make a lot of money that y'all entertain because you really are entertained with that covetous spirit. You want what he got. Well, Bishop, we think most people don't like me. <laughs> they don't like what I say. They don't like how I say it. And you don't have to. But what you do have to do is just listen. You don't have to take none of this. Well, Bishop, I'm, I'm going to say what I want to say. I, 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 I'm too old not to. As long as I don't, dis I don't think have I disrespected Tef Curry? You think I've, I, did I, have I disrespected the young man? I, I don't know. You don't? I, did you hear what I said? <laughs> I, I did, I did, but he is breaking. He is playing very good this season. That's He's fine. That's fine. That, but that's basketball. You understand that? <laughs> yes, I understand. That's basketball. Every three point he shoot does not cure cancer, but it brings joy. There's no joy like the joy of the Holy Ghost. Okay. We can agree to disagree. You just don't understand. That's all right. That, 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 see, it's not. It's no different than a woman at the well. So if you knew who you was talking to, you would ask about the living waters instead of all this NBA mess. It's all right, though. You'll understand one day. Call on him. He'll answer. Well, Bishop Bosley, I want to thank you God for bless coming. You, God bless you. Thank uh, you for having me. To thank Glad you. TV. Glad TV. Glad TV. TV. Yes. Um, I'm so glad that you came. I'm glad to be on Glad TV. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to know, can we have you back? When, when you, we can do this again. You want me back? Sure. People have to hear your story. I'm absolutely shocked. The Lord must be blessing. Usually my first impression is usually my last. God bless you, son. If you really want me, I'll be back. We'd love to have you back. I'll be. I love to be back. God bless you. Yeah. Y'all gonna call my ride back or to get that young lady? Uh, she had. Uh, are we finished? Yeah, yeah. We we, we, we finished. We want. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Did is that what they left in my hotel room? A wrap? I I I can't. I really can't eat spinach. I can't eat spinach. No, 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 no. I mean, it's a wrap. We're done. We're, we're done taping. Oh, we finished. We're finished. Oh, that's what Jesus said. Just say that. It is finished. So we can leave. Yeah. We can okay. Uh, uh, get my coat over there. Um, I got to preach tonight. Uh, son, come get baptized. Wh wh where are you going to be at? I'll tell you off camera. Okay, to everybody who thinks Bishop Bosley is an actual real minister. He is not. My name is Justin Crawford, and I am the character actor for Bishop Bob. Yeah, I do this for fun, spread uh, Christian joy. Some of the stuff I say is a little risque, but, you know, what isn't? And um, I just do this for fun, and a lot of people have found great joy in it. And look for more content, but realize I am acting. This is not a real pastor. I am a Christian, and I am a born-again believer. But my name is Justin Crawford. I'm not ordained. I'm not none of that. So... I, I, if I, if you ask me to pray for you because I have had prayer requests, I will pray as Justin. I'm not coming to God as Bishop Bosley for you, okay? But we'll get the same effect. God bless y'all. Follow me at Bishop Bosley TV and Instagram. Uh, also, Justin's Instagram, my, me personally, <laughs> is I, I am Justin Crawford. And follow me on my Twitter. It's Justin Crawford 90. No, TikTok. it's safe on my TikTok. It's saved and funny, no spaces. We have good fun over there. God bless y'all. Stay encouraged. COVID-19 won't kill us. We'll live to see... <laughs> We're going to live to see it happen. What? <laughs> live, 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 live. You know, my first ministry was Instagram. It still is the love of my life. And, um, well, what happened to you? It's, uh, I took a sabbatical. <laughs> Let's, so what happened to you? I took a sabbatical. <laughs> <laughs> what is your problem? <laughs> okay, okay, all right, all right. Let's try it again. <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> no, you can say it. I'm trying to have to laugh. Um, <laughs> so what happened to you on Instagram? Why? Why? Wh I'm going to ask a whole question.
I'm not against voting if you're if you're a lay member. That's fine, but God don't call his preachers to politics. Are you Dominic? I'm not Dominic. <laughs> are you <laughs> education? Not for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I didn't need the money. I needed healing. <laughs> that was too deep. <laughs> we keep it all in this place. We keep it all in this place. That was too deep. <laughs> you okay, um